Differentiate y is equal to x cubed times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 4 using the product rule. Now, you're not, not going to really want to expand this. You're really going to want to use a different rule. And so if y is equal to x cubed 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 4, that's of the type y is equal to uv. So let u be equal to x cubed. Differentiate that, you're going to get 3x squared. And then v is equal to 3x squared minus 4 to the 4. Now you differentiate this using the chain rule. So it's going to be 4 times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 3. Differentiate the bracket, you're going to get 6x. So that's going to be 24x, 4 times 6, 24x times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 3. Take the trouble to write this down properly. Right, writing down the product rule, and by writing it down you'll remember it, dy by dx is u dv by dx plus v du by dx, so that's going to be x cubed, make sure you use brackets, times dv by dx, put this all in brackets, use square brackets here, so it's 24x, 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 3, plus uh, v, which is going to be 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 4 times du by dx, which is going to be 3x squared. Right, now take a bit of trouble to rewrite this before you start to factorise this. So this is going to be 24x to the 4 times 3x squared minus 4 cubed uh, plus 3x squared times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 4. Now you look for common factors. So there's a common factor here of 3x squared that needs to come out. And the, here looking at this and this, the highest power here is cubed, sorry, 4. And here we have a 3, so we need to take out 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 3. Now what have we got left? So in order to get 3 here, we're going to have 8x squared. This has all been taken out, so we don't need to put anything in here. We need to put in a plus sign. And then we've got just one of these 3x squared minus 4 at the end. Then the final line, the 3x squared times 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 3. 8x squared plus 3x squared is 11x squared minus 4. And that's our final answer. So obviously here we can see that the product rule will be a far easier way of doing it. So there's been a video to show you how to differentiate uh, a product to, well, of two functions of x and factorise it and simplify. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.